Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me the truth. I want to give a peace and blessing so that I came across the four corners of the earth who teach the truth and rest like to do. So, it's going to be a quick video. Low on the videos, edifying low when I can get something from this video. It's going to basically be a couple of encouragement scriptures for the Akim, man. Uh, I'm going to get one of my favorite passages because it kind of describes the walk to a T almost. You know what I mean? And sometimes we have to understand that the Lord knows what we're going through. You know what I mean? And the Lord knows where we're at, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and we understand that, you know, we understand that the walk is not, is not, easy but it's manageable and it's doable you know what i mean so but we're not going to be we're not going to be forsaken in the times to come so the things because i mean this is the best thing you could do if you see everything that's popping up the more prophecy we see the more things that we hear about the more wars the rumors of wars that we hear about the more earthquake just happened in mexico a couple of days ago you know these are the signs of the times that we were looking for that yahweh shot told us to look for upon his return man Okay, so the more shit crack, man, we're going to be more than happy and glad that we had some work, man. And it's, tr and it's true when we have spiritual riches, man. Okay? Always remember that. Always remember that, man. You know, anytime, you know, you're going through something or going through a battle or, you know what I'm saying, you, you know what I mean, you, you f don't lose your crown to the bullshit. Don't lose... Don't look back into the world. Don't 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 get overwhelmed by this shit, man. All this shit is coming or not, man. Okay, you gotta really believe or understand that. Okay, but without further ado, let me read this passage. It's gonna be a quick video. Um, I might throw some precepts in there if the spirit hop on me. If not, I'm just kind of go through this. Um, and go from there. This is Hebrews ten, and I'm gonna start at thirty two. Well, I start at thirty one. It says, "It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power." But call to remembrance the former in which it is. I mean, the Lord is, I mean, the Lord is, any, he can do anything. I mean, it's not, there's nothing impossible with the Lord, man. Okay. And that's why we should always have faith. That's why our faith should be always, you know, should be up. I mean, the scriptures literally talk about us being changed into immortal beings, man. Okay. In the twinkling of an eye. So, I mean, the Lord, there's nothing impossible with the Lord, man. Don't limit the Lord. Don't place your, your human beliefs on the Lord, man, because or your human limitation on the Lord, on what you think can happen, what you think can't happen, man. Okay, because there's nothing impossible with the, with the Lord, man. It says, but call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, which illuminated means light, right? Illuminated when we were woken up, when we received the truth. Okay, you endured a great fight of affliction. So when we received this truth, indeed we fought. That's why scriptures say what? It was bitter. I ate the roe and it was bitter. Let it... Let me see. Uh, let me see. I'll look for it in a minute, but let me finish this. It says, but call, but call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, you endured a great fight of afflictions, partly while you were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and, and afflictions, and partly while you became companions of them that were so used, for you had compassion of me in my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. Because, you know, in this world, brothers might have lost things, man. I mean... You know, you might have lost opportunities. You might have lost. You had to sacrifice things. You might have lost relationships. Yeah, there's a whole lot of shit, man, I could get into. You know what I mean? About different experiences. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we count it all, all, all done. We count it all done because we understand that, you know, uh, we, we're not, we ain't, don't hold on to nothing. Everything here is fickle, man. I've been saying that. Everything is fickle, man. Okay? It says, Give a fuck if they blood. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if they blood. I don't, I don't care what it is, man. You know what I mean? You got to have that, you know, always in the back of your mind, man, that, you know, this, you know, it's it, where you at. I understand where you at, man. 
Okay? I ain't telling brothers, you know, to to you know, cast off their woman or, you know, or nothing like that. I'm not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying just under, be wise and understand and, and try to know every situation and understand what's around you, man. Understand what we're around. We're around nothing but wickedness, man. Okay? You know? It says it says, um, for ye had compassion of me and my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an and enduring substance. So we took, you know, the joy, the, uh, it said, uh, we took joyfully the spoiling of our goods. So, you know, we, we understood that, hey, you know, we, we had to lose certain shit, man. Okay. But really, we, they lost us, man. Okay. Because it said we are illuminated. We're the light in the midst of darkness, man. Okay? That's how you got to look at it. Okay? It says, um, knowing in yourselves that ye you have in heaven a better and enduring substance. Okay? It says, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which had the great recompense of reward. Because indeed, you know, to have, I always say this, right? To have confidence in this truth, you got to have faith. You know, faith is a gift, man. And it's impossible to please the most high without it. Okay, it's for it says, for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the most high, ye might receive the promise for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Right? So the Lord is gonna is getting ready to come, man. You can see it through, through the signs and the times. Okay, if you understand prophecy. Okay. Shit, you got even two third people saying, Hey man, we I mean it's things I mean we in the last lot, because you can understand, you can feel it. You can smell it in the air, man. Okay, it says, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe in the saving of the soul. So we're not of them that, that draw back into the bullshit, into the madness of this world, man. But we believe in the saving 